I was on my way to the college, and and some guards they they came up and they, and they took me prisoner. Someone help me! Let me out of here! Someone! Hey Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome to Skyrim Ordinator. This is yet another Skyrim Let's Play. And this time I'm going to be playing as an Imperial Mage. This is going to be Zoltan, who is an Imperial and may be mixed a little bit with some Red Guard. You never can tell. But um, just taking a look at the Imperial here, we see that they're natives of Cyrodiil. They are shrewd diplomats and traders. The descendants of the original Nibbanese tribesmen, Nettis and Syrah Nords, in the Mer gosh, in the Merithic era, who overthrew the alien oppressors and drove them into extinction. Imperials know that dynasties are destined to rise and fall, and all it will take is time before the glorious empire once again reigns over Tamriel. So here we have our Imperial, and I'm going to play this um, maybe a little bit over the top. If you would imagine for a moment, if you, present day person, was somehow transported to... Skyrim, imagine how you would react to some of the things that you would see there, like those giant hideous spiders and big mammoths and giants and dragons. You know, I don't think most people would be very accepting of things like that. They'd probably be very frightened. So, this character, a mage, a milk drinker, as some people like to refer to them. Um, he is going to be terrified of all these things. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Hopefully I can do it in a, a straight face type of way. That, uh, you know, it, it comes off as, as funny. But, you know, I, I hope you guys, when you watch my, my Let's Plays don't take them seriously because i i'm really not you know serious about what i'm doing i'm doing it for fun so anyhow i hope you enjoy uh zoltan and let's go ahead and name him and move a little forward here Okay, here we are, Zoltan. So you're going to see uh, some of the various mods that I've installed. Um, we're currently in a mod right now. If you're not familiar with this, this is the alternate start mod. And um, I'm just going to let this play out for just a bit while the other mods that I have uh, installed load up. Um, just call your attention to some of the mods that I'm going to be using. Um, the Imperious Races mod, which um, changes I guess the, the racial powers that the uh, various races have. So in this case, with him being an Imperial, rather than I can't remember what they call it, call it the Emperor or something, it's the, the vanilla power. He's now got several abilities one of which is discipline that allies gain bonus armor and attack damage another ability he's going to have is imperial virtues which randomly gives bonus health magicka and stamina and then also human spirit and this uh hang on here at levels 20 i'm sorry levels 10 20 and 30 changes um attributes and resistance 
um, I guess an example of that, I think when I, I was experimenting with this earlier, before I actually started a new game, um, when I got to level 10, it gave me a choice of if I wanted to increase my Magicka by 100, I think. And it also has a, a downside or a negative to it that it decreases a talent by 50. So you can apply it to one talent. So Magicka, I could, have, I could increase that by 100 and I could decrease it by 50. So that, you know, the overall gain would just be 50 in Magicka. Or I could take 50 away from something like I did Stamina in this case. Since he is a mage and Stamina is not going to be one of the things he um, is good at. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Alright, and then the, the daily racial power that he has is called Kolovian Star. Which replenishes two attributes. Um with the highest remaining percentage. I'm not really sure what that looks like because there's a, a quest that you have to do with this Imperious Races mod where I think in this case I have to do 20 missions I think for people in Skyrim before it unlocks this ability. So um, yeah it's gonna be a while before that gets unlocked. So the character we have here was the slightest smallest skinniest build that you can have when you create a character because he has got no physical abilities at all um, he's gonna be a pure mage relying on magic and you know this is a guy here that is just afraid of his own shadow so it should be interesting to see how things turn out alright well it looks like the mods have loaded going to go over here and talk to the statue of Mara and let me just make one other update well, actually let me just configure a couple of mods before we actually start talking to Mara hold on here okay one of the mods that I just uh, adjusted um, I've gotten rid of vivid weathers um, I really like that mod but I don't know what I don't know what it is about it. Some some stuff is just too bright. Some some stuff just glows. It's it's too intense. And I had a lot of issues um, in the last uh, playthrough or let's play uh, with Mandrake. Um, I installed an ENB, and it would just get off balance. It's like you know sometimes the the day would be too bright or the night would be too dark or it, it was just it was crazy I, I mean I would have to adjust the brightness and darkness in the middle of a recording because it was just off completely and especially the um, the ending there with Apocrypha um, it was just incredibly bright and the same thing with um, the Soul Cairn it's like those the the ENBs just weren't prepared for those type of environments it didn't know what to, to do and and they ended up being too bright so gotten rid of ENBs and I'm using oh let me see I have it written down here the natural and atmospheric Tamriel which is better known as Nat um, I've played around with it it looks like it's really good it, it uh, isn't washed out like a lot of um, I don't know mods that, that play with the lighting and whatnot because that that was my major complaint and that's why I wanted to install the ENB because it it definitely gives you the contrast and the darkness um, like if you're looking here like in the stones and whatnot how there's actually you know you can see black some of these mods just everything just is kind of grayish and, and washed out but I think it's it's this one is going to give me the type of lighting um, that I'm looking for plus this has weather effects as well so I think we're on track with the mods here um, and what I did earlier I adjusted the saturation I want this to be a colorful playthrough since we're dealing with magic so I've turned up the saturation which is the color so that it should be a lot more vivid um, the other thing that we have installed are the uh, the books that glow unread books glow so I'm 
probably going to change the setting on this so that just the um, the perk books or spell spell book perk points whatever it is will glow and not all all books but let's go ahead as we're going to play as a mage it looks like we have a dead mage here let's go ahead and take his belongings and let's get these spell books because this is another mod where I can choose the starting spells that I want and these are all novice spells there's there's no cheating here folks I it doesn't give me spells that I can't use at the beginning of the game so I'll have to get my ward my soul gem need that familiar I'm not gonna do these bound weapons I, I'm I'm still torn as to whether or not a pure mage should use bound weapons. I mean, some people feel it's okay, but it's still kind of like you're using a sword or you're using a bow. We'll see. I, I, I really want to try to concentrate on, on pure magic. So let's get our oak flesh, which we will definitely need. I'll take this candlelight as well. Because we're, we're just going to be wearing robes and, you know, casting casting spells all right so I think we've got everything that we're gonna need okay so why Skyrim ordinator you may ask and that is because we have the ordinator mod installed let me just bring it up here under skills this enhances all of the skill trees uh, for everything uh, throughout the game and especially interested in using this for a mage character because it really gives you a lot of options when it comes to playing a mage and it also allows the mage abilities to scale a little bit with the user with the character as he levels up his magic becomes stronger which is something that's missing in the vanilla game in my last playthrough with Mandrake, I experimented with this a little bit. Um, you know, he basically used a dagger and a bow and arrow. And it would take me... Well, I also gave him magic too. And at times I was using destruction magic. Because I wanted to see how potent destruction magic was in vanilla Skyrim. And it isn't at all. So what I found out is that with a dagger and with a bow and arrow, um, it takes me three to four times longer to kill someone, an enemy, with magic, fire spells, uh, than it does using a bow and arrow or a dagger. So it's, that's an agonizingly long time if you know, you're fighting an opponent that you just can't seem to do any damage to and you know they might be damaging you especially when you're playing as a mage that a pure mage in this case that's just wearing robes and no armor so I really wanted to um, you know give the mage you know an advantage I guess or you know to be able to survive playing a mage uh, in Skyrim so we have Ordinator installed, and this is going to be a lot of fun. I experimented a little bit with Ordinator um, in my first Skyrim Let's Play, but we ran into some problems. I think it was the speech tree, where I don't know what, what options, because there's so many options now. I think it's like, I don't know, like 400 perks or options or something. I'm not sure. It, it really expands you know your, your options here but um yeah I think I got into trouble here when I chose like speak with animals and started going down this path that I kept getting pop-ups in the upper left of my screen something about a companion or some I don't know what what was going on but it was very annoying I tried to remove um, ordinator and reinstall it I couldn't get rid of it so I just ended up you know getting rid of ordinator altogether and just just playing vanilla Skyrim so my first two let's plays are just vanilla this is my first one where I'm going to be using ordinator throughout so I'm really excited about that so 
Let's go ahead and talk to Mara. Approach, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. I... I am a new member of a guild. Which guild are you a new recruit for? I'm... I'm with the College of Winterhold. The glorious power of magic shall be yours to command. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I'm locked in this prison. I was on my way to the college, and and some guards, they, they came up and they, and they took me prisoner. Someone help me. Let me out of here. Someone. Right, so that just gives you a taste of Zoltan and his personality. All right, so we're here to approach the bed to activate his new life. And we'll do that in the next video.